so yesterday, I know that government health officials met to decide who should get the vaccine first. Right. Who was at the top of the list? So let's go through it. They went through five groups that they consider to be at high risk from complications if they were to get H1N1 virus. Top of the list is pregnant women. That includes women who will be pregnant at all during the flu season, and it is approved in all three trimesters. Anyone who takes care of babies under the age of six months. So this could be daycare workers, household contacts, older siblings, grandparents. That is an important category. Young adults and children six months to 24 years, anyone with an underlying medical condition and anyone who takes care of sick people, healthcare professionals, emergency workers. These are the top five groups who will be prioritized to receive the vaccine first. These are a lot of priorities. Will they have That's enough right. of the vaccine to treat all those people? They will. Estimates are that they will have enough to cover these groups, which will be about 159 million doses. That conveniently corresponds to the proportion of the population that the CDC estimates may be affected by the vaccine, which is 40 percent of the U.S. population, roughly the same number. We have to uh, caution, however, the vaccine doses will not all arrive at the same time. They'll be staggered throughout the flu season. So many people, as we discussed yesterday, are afraid of having this vaccine. Right. When there's so much that is not known about it. And there's an effective treatment for the swine flu, Tamiflu. So do you, what do you say to those people who say, I'll just get the, the treatment if I get it? You know, Maggie, so many of my patients say, I've never gotten the flu, so therefore I'm afraid to get the vaccine or I don't think it's necessary. We have to emphasize the vaccine is the primary tool in our arsenal to fight influenza, both the seasonal flu and H1N1. Tamiflu is an effective prevention and treatment. It lessens the severities, but it does not obviate the, the risk of the disease or take that to zero. So Tamiflu is second line, okay. like things like Lorenz the vaccine is really first.